Hello, all you lovely, lovely individuals. What's going on, guys? Jade here, and welcome back to Soft Sessions. You already know we're out here playing more Stardew Valley. I, I haven't played in, like, a decent bit, and I legitimately can't tell you how much I've missed this game. Like, I, I could play... I didn't mean to water it. I meant to open it. Hello? Got some fishing... A deluxe fishing pole, finally. Yes, I think we're actually gonna go try and earn that today. But anyway... I have, like, been away from the game for a decent bit of time, and I can't tell you, like, how much I just genuinely enjoy this game. Like, it has the same feeling as playing Animal Crossing for me, where, like, you know, I, I could have, like, a really, really long, kind of, kind of arduous bad day, and then I go and I play this game, and it's just in immensely better. Like, everything is just immensely better because I played this game. And it, it's hard to, to describe that, like, to anybody who really doesn't play the game, right? Because it's just, like, you know, like, why would you want to leave work or like stop working and then go to do more work um which is sort of how I felt about the sims for a super long time like I didn't really understand why you would want like you know to get off the computer or, or rather to get off of work excuse me and then go on your computer and make another person do work I'm gonna pet you again please don't water her what are you doing pet stop water her St oh my god, okay, how do I pet? Okay, never mind, guess, guess we're just not gonna do that today, <laughs> guess we're just not gonna pet her. Um, okay, but yeah, like, like, I, and I really, like, Sims is one of my favorite games, especially Sims 3, The Sims 3 is one of my favorite games now, like, I, I don't know how to properly express to people, like, hey, hey, it's just, you know, it's just an escape, uh, but... You're not really, it's it, it's hard to explain, it's hard to explain. I, I feel like this game especially though is, is very cathartic, you know, because every, everybody has that secret like inner desire to to become, like to move into the woods and become a farmer, like just raise your own vegetables and just live off the land. Like I, I don't think I have a single friend whose secret like desire isn't just to go off the grid and just, just become a hermit and just, 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 just raise parsnips and, and have, have, have a singular orange cat. Like, I mean, come on. Who, who doesn't want that out of their life, honestly? Let's be real with ourselves here. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean up the farm a little bit more really quickly. But yeah, I am, I'm incredibly happy to be doing this again, especially, um, j j just because, like, if for no other reason, like, I, I just really like making videos. It's just, it's just really, really cathartic and fun for some reason. Like, like, like getting to talk to you guys, getting to, getting to hear the feedback, and especially because, like, it inspires me for all these, like, for all these, like, new things that I really want to do on YouTube. Like, for instance, um, I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna, uh, t I'm gonna start a series called, called Cost Planning pretty soon, because, um, um, I'm making, well, actually, I'm not gonna tell you guys the cosplay that I'm making. I'm not gonna say it, because if I do, It'll just spoil the reason for the show, and then, like, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like unbox the stuff for it, and then I'm gonna, um, and, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of explain it, like you know, I'm, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do all those things, and I'm really, really excited about it. Okay, let's see here. Everything's already watered, everything's already set in place. Okay, yeah, and then today we we're also gonna go buy some more seeds, but to do that, I should probably go fishing first. Alrighty, can you do worms? Worms, hello. Um, I've always really wanted to do like an an unboxing like like cosplay. Oh yes, finally we get this cutscene. I'm gonna I know what this is already, so I'm gonna skip it again. And I'm sorry if you guys want to watch that cutscene. I would highly recommend looking it up online. But I'm gonna skip it just for now, so we can get back to the game. So sorry about that, Lewis. Wait, I'm pretty sure that it's Lewis's birthday today, isn't it? Isn't it Lewis's birthday today? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, <gasps> it is Lewis's birthday. Okay, okay, wait a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta go to the web browser. What is what is Lewis like? Lewis Sturdy Valley. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so it looks like Lewis likes cooked dishes. And I'm not sure if we can buy most of these actually at the... Okay, okay, Gus, wait. Wake up, Gus. Wake up, bud. I'm kind of in a hurry here. If I could get you to come down here and with your... God, his nose is so big. God, Gus, you're so valid. God, I love Gus so much. <laughs> I just noticed that his head is like weirdly bigger than every other character in the game. Okay, here we go. Wait a second. Let's see here. So salad. Nothing here really that um that our friend Lewis really likes. Uh, 
Can't get a blueberry. I really can't get any of this right now. I don't think I can grow any of this. Yeah, that's summer farming too. Um, maybe we should just get him a daffodil and just call it a day. Okay, Gus, I'm sorry for waking you up, dude. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go pick a flower really quickly. Oh, yep, and there's one right there. Okay, now let's see, where is he currently? Oh, there he is. Okay, okay, bud. I, I'm sorry about this. I really hope this isn't like anything bad. Birthday gift, thank you. You're welcome, Louis. Did I get any hearts for that? I did. I got a full heart for that, even though he didn't, he didn't really enjoy it. Oh my gosh. Louis, Louis, please know I would die for you in a heartbeat. Okay, let's, um, so I should actually, actually probably go ahead and start doing some, do some foraging, excuse me, um, while we try and earn some more money to get some more seeds really quickly. Some more spring seeds. Now, let's see if I can go ahead and start growing the stuff that we need for the spring seeds. Like, I mean, for the spring bounty. Um, because I don't know if I'll get to, I know I won't get a chance until next spring. But what I'm trying to say is that I don't know if I'll have time to finish them all this spring. So we'll have to see. And also with the fish. Gosh. I forget that, like, you know, how after the, uh, the whole community center thing comes in. Like, how much that just consumes your time in this game. Which I don't dislike. Can I eat the stick? Can I eat it, please? Eat it. Okay, nope, never mind. Guess not. Alright. Because, um, one of my biggest problems with open world games, um, which I don't have many, because I really love open world games. They've been my favorite since I was a kid. But, like, you know, um, oh, am I getting that? I'm getting that. I'm getting that. But, like, you know, um, Sometimes you can just lose the objective, like you don't really know what you're trying to do. And it, three geodes? Oh, heck yeah, man. Okay, well, I, I think I, you can actually cast that way. I had no idea. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. But anyway, as I was saying, um, I, I feel like, you know, when, when I was younger, um, maybe whenever I couldn't focus as easily as, as I can now, it was especially hard whenever I was playing open world games, like, you know, like, San Andreas, I played San Andreas a lot as a kid, and, you know, games like that, you, you would just kind of play, and I would have no idea what I was doing, I was just kind of playing the game, um, but now I feel like, like, game developers have really, really, have really drawn that in, and really, like, you know, gave you a lot to do, like, for instance, I bought Final Fantasy XV on the PC very recently, um, absolutely immaculate game, and that game really handles open world super duper well. But then again, it's not truly open world, because it, it kind of, like, locks you into doing things that you have to do before you can advance. Which is, which is okay. But, um, I, I'm trying to think of a game, like, maybe, like, Monster Hunter Ultimate, where, like, if you wanted to, you could just go and fight, like, a really high powerful, like, high powered monster. But, um, you know, you're gonna lose. Oh, there Breath of the Wild, I think, is the greatest example of an open world game done right. Or at least like a truly open world game, you know? Like, like th that game, that game is open world. I mean, if you want to, as soon as you come off the Great Plateau, you can go and fight Ganon. I mean, there is really nothing stopping you from going and fighting Ganon. I, I just, uh can, can I stop getting gar- how much garbage- oh, do we need to go by the, the, the deluxe pole? I'm just- I'm mad. I just- I want nothing more than to stop getting garbage, or at least getting the garbage fixer compactor thing. Because, god, it's, it's just so annoying. I forgot how much garbage you get with the entry-level pole. Wait, I need to go process these first. Sorry, Gunther. Didn't mean to get your hopes up, bud. But we're good. We're good. Could go up here. Uh, it's already- It's already 4 p.m., huh? Okay. Alright, well, well alright, alright, fine, where, wait, 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 it's Sunday, where's Sebastian right now, where's Sebastian, hold on a quick second, hold on a quick second, hold on, oh, I'm gonna, I gotta look up, I gotta look up where Sebastian is right now so we can give him this quartz, is it spring, so at 6.30, he will leave his house to go smoke, okay, we need and give him, give him this quartz, give him this quartz, God. I, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Like, Sebastian is legitimately one of my favorite characters from any game ever. And it's not because I have a secret in inter Excuse me. <laughs> I just, I, I, we've evolved as humans, like, over, like, the course of millions upon millions of years. And 
I, sometimes I just I get choked in my own spit. Sometimes that just happens. It's just a thing that we have not outgrown. Same thing as chewing on our tongues or biting our cheeks whenever we, we eat food. How long have we been eating food? How long have we have people been eating food and we still do that? I just, uh, I, 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 I don't know. 